Nanaki. What should I wish for? Uh, the mad love of a fallen angel. What? Uh, hello, is that you, Tosaka? Hi, Mr. Nanaki. Should be careful out this light can be dangerous for a girl. I don't remember how this turns out. Let's have him walk us home, just for the hell of it. Sure. Uh, yes. Alright. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Your house is very rustic, Tosaka. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Uh, sir. See you tomorrow, don't forget your homework. And so he left a somewhat hollow sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? So every bird has a story, but to, but to, but to find the story, you have to wade through all the junk, and then you have to kind of date them. So obviously, like, everything is kind of unspoken. Elective day, a 10. Let's go math again. Just a little longer until early release days. Finals are coming up and the glum depression is already setting in. But at least we won't have to swelter in the classroom all afternoon. Why is a school this famous even stingier with, with its air conditioning than a public school anyway? Yoko, Ryuta, have you had lunch yet? I was gonna go to the cafeteria, want to come with me? Ah, uh, sure. I heard they expanded the menu and I wanted to try it sometime. They have massacred ramen now. Massacred ramen? Is that like half dead fried rice? Uh, probably. And Oko. Uh, is he dead? What's going on? Oh, damn. I turn around to see a short dove standing behind me, his chest stained a deep red. Does this stuff change from gameplay to game? I think this stuff changes from playthrough to playthrough. I think the more you unlock, the more story opens up. Which is so stupid because you have to kind of repeat so much crap to get to the good stuff. Uh, you, are you the one called f who called for this disaster? The one who invoked the... Broad Towers of the Blue Sky? Oh, the, f the mad love of a fallen angel, I have no idea. The blood, you're bleeding. My chest, you are. Ryuta, I don't think he understands Japanese, we have to get him to the infirmary. Uh, don't worry, look closely, he isn't hurt at all. But the blood, he killed someone else. He's the Luzon from the class next to ours, their plumage looks just like that. Wait, really? <laughs> Correct. I am Higuri Ash Ang Ang Higuri Angel, the fallen servant of God, stained with the blood of sin. This stuff has never happened before. I think the the, the more endings you unlock, the more paths that open up in the actual game, which is so incredibly. Annoying, because it's so... You have to grind through this crap. And if you fast forward, you might miss some new stuff. Right? Ah, this is bad game design. Like, you have to... Like, you have to suffer for little bits of interesting story, and it's not even worth it. This is the first time I've ever seen this bird. This impressively upholstered bird is Higure Angel. He is in the class next to ours. So he must be another sophomore. That's an odd name. I wonder if he came from overseas like Sakura. His Japanese is kind of strange too. Ah, the corruption spreads faster than I expected. What? I had hoped to find it before it came this far. Sleeping servant of the heavens. Ah, uh, yes. Um, he's talking to me, right? Time is slipping by. Judgment draws ever nearer. You must find the truth by the light of the red moon. I must last a little longer. Be silent, crimson breast. What? You are hurt, aren't you? Do not touch me. Farewell, Edo Blau of the Blue Sky. 
fate decrees that we shall meet again. He's gone. What was that all about? What was that all about? This game is so ridiculous. I think you've picked the weird one, Hiyoko. Ah, let's go to lunch, All right? I wish this game wasn't like this. It's too hot, I'm gonna melt. Like, you, I, I don't know, like, you... You have to play through so much junk. I keep saying that, and I mean it. Pathetics, Tosaka. It's expected of a mere mammal. What? Aren't you uncomfortable too? I thought the doves were fairly fared badly in the heat. Letting your weakness show in front of others is the mark of the vulgar class. Shut up, bro. Uh, maybe you should take a leaf out of your book. <laughs> the red dye of the demon led me here. You summoned me once more, apostle of the blue sky. Uh, him again, I guess. Uh, who, who is this? I think he's named Anko. He is the class eccentric next door. Ha, huh, another peasant. None of you have the right to even be in this school. Go back to the Philippines and bang some coconuts together, why don't you? Luzon Bleeding Hearts upon the Philippines? That would be why they called Luzon Bleeding Hearts. The Philippines have bananas, right? Now I want to call him Banana Man. Like this, like this, is why is this supposed to be funny? Does anyone find this funny? Like there's so many lines in here that's just It just seems like a waste of time to me. Is this funny to people? Incidentally, Sakura is about as unhinged as Anko, so maybe they should be friends. I have no business with you, hello the magician of white. Apostle of the blue sky. Uh yes. Can you not remember who I am? Uh, a fallen angel. Could you be a fallen angel escaped from the demonic prison of Judica? Uh, exclamation mark. Have you awoken at last, Apostle Edelblau? No. We have but little time left. You must decide. Will you cross swords with me on the promised ground, or... Ah... No, not now. Ah, uh, Anko. He flies away down the corridor, in spite of my protest, what a busy bird. Ah, uh, that's kind of... I don't know, like, what the what the hell's going on? We get our finals back today, I'm not sure I did too well. Tosaka, sir, well done, you've gotten even better. Yes sir, success. Today is the last day, it's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems long and sometimes you know, but oh, this crap. Return the box. Let me just Oh no. Oops. I just see I just skipped a lot of dialogue. I just skipped a bunch of dialogue and I now I don't know what's going on. Because I was kind of bored by all this. The time has not yet come. Crimson Angel of Judica! Uh, exclamation. Is that true, Edelblau? Indeed, my demonic red eye feels no murderous aura. Perhaps it would be wise to wait and observe for a while. That's probably a good idea. I, the doctor doesn't take kindly to roughhousing, I think. Anko leaves satisfied. I... I don't know, man. This game... This game. Let me just fast forward. I don't. I. I, I don't. I, I can't. This is, I can't do this. Running, running, and then you meet this guy. Who? who what's her name again? Azami. Azami. We've read all that before. Still have a lot of homework. You get a job or forget it. Stuff happens if you get a job. Let's get a job. Let me just show you what happens when you get a job. Uh, hiring us. It was. I'm gonna work at the cafe. All right. It's beautiful in here, Yoko. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back and new. Sorry, I was here asking about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. 
a true gentleman without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. Okay. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I'm called Urushihara Kenzaburu. Buburo. I'm the owner of the Torimi Cafe. Alright, good view. Hi. Welcome, Miss Yoko. I hadn't expected a human. Are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you'll be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I'm a vitality girl. Really? I shall be relying on you for this summer then, Miss Yoko. It's perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Sure. Of course. I'm glad I should be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow then, Miss Yoko. Alright, I'm gonna work at the cafe. Good. Good morning, Miss Yoko. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you will be able to remember remember everything soon. So please ask if you can't find something. Like this, this is not. We don't need this in the game because the game will never actually ask you to find something in this in the store. It's just banter. You know, like you can probably shave at least fifty percent off the lines of dialogue in this game, and you. And the game will become better because you focus on the stuff that actually is interesting. There's so many just kind of junk lines of dialogue in this game. Show you around the cafe, explain like like this. Look, why did you need the previous line? You know, like it's like they're duplicating this stuff. This shop is small and it keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Who cares? Who cares? Like this is not important to the to the story at all. Well then, what do you think? What do you, what do you mean I want it? It's very nice, I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my house... Excuse me. Uh, I saw the flyer at the station and... Ryuta, hi. Uh, Hyoko, what are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Hyoko? Uh, yes, this is Ryuta. You came for the job too, Ryuta. Too slow! I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But you've already got the position then, that's that. Uh, Mr. Rushihara, could you use two people? Um, no. Sadly, my, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... Keep the job, he already has one. Ah, uh, do the job I was hired for. Uh, sorry, Ryuta, but I really want to do this. Don't worry about it, Hyoko. I've got a couple more places to check. Alright, bye. Perhaps some other time. I'll be here if you're looking for something later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, Hyoko. Alright, bye. Almost opening time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job from Ryuta. See, like this! Again, a throwaway line that th doesn't need to be, doesn't add anything to the game. I, I, I wonder who the first customer of my life will be. Again, junk. Absolute junk. Don't need it. Doesn't do anything for the story. Uh, you all got a new girl? A human? Says the yellow... A, a budgeriga steps in the door. That's a bungee. Now, the first customer of my life, a young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for somebody who raised a few more flags, maybe a white peacock. Junk. Just junk lines. Junk lines of dialogue everywhere. Like, who cares? Who cares? Welcome. Would you like a bath or a meal? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Urushihara. I'll take Kinzaburu. Hey, wait a minute now. Uh, yes, a perfect delayed reaction. <laughs> trolling. Your first customer, you're trolling him. Uh, hello, Rabu. Uh, this is Rabu, Miss Yoko, a regular customer. I'm something of an important figure here. See this card, 206 stamps. Amazing. See, this is kind of a funny. This is kind of funny. 
Is he a cafe addict? Hey, what was with that when I came in? I wanted to provoke that reaction of someone with a Kansai accent since I was a little girl. Thank you, Mr. Rambu. Thank you to, thanks to you, my dream has come true and I can die happy. You all lost me on this roadside there. Well, that's how it is. That is a very obscure Japanese dialect joke. The Kansai accent, if you're wondering. I, I, I mean, there's a joke there, but... If you don't know your Japanese, you won't know it. Now, Hyoko, right? That seat there is my private property. You'll remember that now. A new encounter in the little bird cage. Today is a good day. I shall make some coffee to celebrate. Please sit down, both of you. See, we're back to the junk lines. I, I swear, 50% of the lines are just junk. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? See, junk. Junk. 